Today's Christmas cookie is this delicious Italian lemon twist cookie. Get ready for some twisting, dunking, sprinkling holiday fun. It's day three of our 12 days of Christmas cookie marathon. Let's get started. To start off, we need the zest and juice of one lemon. Okay, we're gonna set that off to the side for just a minute. To a big bowl, we need six eggs. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. One cup of sugar and one cup of vegetable oil. Technically speaking, we're supposed to mix the eggs and the sugar separately until frothy, then add the oil in. But, well, <laughs> no turning back now. <laughs> it's fine. They turned out perfect anyway. And look at that, it's practically frothy anywho. I'm only tattling on myself in case you want to do it the right way. <laughs> Okay, focus, focus. Next goes in the lemon zest. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Give that a good mix. I will have an ingredients list pop up on the screen towards the end of this video. It's also posted in the description box along with the directions. In this other bowl, we have five cups of all-purpose flour. To that, we're gonna add in six teaspoons of baking powder. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention this recipe makes over four dozen cookies? <laughs> That's a lot of cookies, but it's worth it. Mix, mix, mix. We're going to add in our flour a couple scoops at a time, three if you're counting. If you add it all in at once, everything's just gonna go flying out of your bowl and we definitely don't want that. We gotta at least pretend like we know what we're doing here. <laughs> this looks good. Scrape the sides if needed. Then we're gonna flour our work surface. Dump everything out. It does help to flour your hands. No, we're not gonna knead the dough or anything. We just want to shape it into a ball. But to do that, we need it not to stick to everything it touches. <laughs> we're gonna pat it, flip it, basically make sure there aren't any sticky surfaces. This looks pretty good. Now we're going to quarter it. Once quartered, take a section and cut it into 12 equal pieces. Next, we're gonna take one of those 12 pieces and roll it out into a log. Gently fold it in half and twist twice. One, two, do that for the remaining 11 pieces, then grab another section and repeat the same process. Into a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes or until the edges are very lightly golden brown. Once you're able to move them, place them on a cooling rack to fully cool down. As you can see, some of the twists are more pronounced than others, and here's why. When you flour your dough like this versus this one, which is not floured, you get more of a pronounced twist like this versus this one, which was not floured. In the end, it really doesn't matter because we're going to cover it with icing. <laughs> to a bowl, we need one cup of powdered sugar and however much lemon juice needed to make your icing look something like this. The recipe doesn't specify how much you need other than the juice of one lemon. I added in a little at a time until I got this runny consistency. Grab a cookie and start dipping. It's best to add on the sprinkles while the icing is still wet. I'm using these holiday sprinkles here. No, you don't have to use them if you don't like sprinkles. They're perfectly fine without. Yes, unfortunately there might be some sprinkle bleeding onto your icing as the icing tries to harden. I want to say it's inevitable. It's just, it's gonna happen. Honestly, I don't think anyone receiving these will mind. Definitely don't put them in the fridge, pretty sure the cold and the condensation will make any sprinkle bleeding worse. Then every sprinkle is just going to be bleeding all over the place. Just grab an airtight container like this and they're good to go on the counter. Here's that ingredients list. Thanks for watching day number three of our special Christmas cookie series. So many more delicious cookies to come. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out and I'll see you all tomorrow.